Well, my greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is either Ivan Spectre, and as you can see down in the title, we're actually doing a little, uh, blah, 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 blah. we're actually doing a little bit of a uh, taste test today. Uh, every once in a while, I happen to do this if there's any new type of food or drink or something that's out. But um, as you can see right here, this is a taste test of the Mountain Dew Flaming Hot. Now, um, I don't like spicy food. Uh, I don't like spicy anything, really. If it's got a tiny bit of a kick to it, which actually kind of amplifies, ampl amplifies, <laughs> amplifies the taste. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that was a little bit of, of an aside. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't mind it too much. But in terms of it just being spicy for spicy sake, like you're going to have a uh, volcanic lava coming out of your bunghole later on in the evening or feeling like your throat is disintegrating from the crazy hotness that's going down into it or you feel like your stomach's just going to explode you know don't like that kind of spicy not at all have had it before definitely regretted it never doing it again but in terms of it coming from like a drink side of things I was like, well, you know, it's cold. It probably has some type of sugary flavor kind of thing to it. So I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and just give it a shot and see how it is and just go from there. Maybe I'll vomit all over this video or maybe I'll just throw the rest of this thing away or, or you know, maybe I'll just, maybe I might like it. I don't know. You know, there's, there's no real telling. Like I said, I'm not a spicy kind of guy, but what the heck? I'll go ahead and give it a shot and see how it is. So, uh, yeah, cheers. Let me try that again just one more time. Honestly, to be perfectly honest, it's not that hot. It's got a little bit of a tickle, slightly a little bit of like a burning spicy kind of sensation at the back of the throat. It's, it's very low. It's very mild. But everybody's going to be different, you know, when it comes to food or drinks. But honestly, this kind of, that, that burning, uh, tingly, spicy kind of feeling to me feels like a ginger ale, like a harder kind of ginger ale, you know, not no alcoholic ginger ale or anything like that, but like the more harder side of things, I guess, in terms of it being more gingery, <laughs> if you will, than compared to, you know, just like a regular ginger ale that kind of tastes a little bit more sweet with that ginger kind of taste, but it doesn't, it doesn't have that kind of burn in, in the back of your throat, but it does have a citrusy taste to it that kind of tastes like it's like, uh, lemon, lime in a ways. Um, yeah, like I said, it has that little bit of a tingly, <laughs> um, burning sensation, but it's not terrible at all. Um, I think I might actually continue to drink this and I kind of feel like over time, you know, as the uh, carbonation and whatnot gets out of it, probably the, the spice in and of itself may end up going away. Um, cause you know how it is with carbonation. Carbonation to me makes drinks taste better. If you're ever drinking soda, when they start to get flat, they kind of just, bleh, you know, just kind of Kind of vomit inducing is what I had mentioned earlier when it came to the whole spicy situation of dealing with the Mountain Dew. But um, yeah, I kind of feel like maybe if you guys are interested in trying it, trying it out, go go right ahead, especially if you're not really into spicy related stuff. Um, it's definitely not bad at all. I still feel the little bit of like the tingly kind of thing, but it's not like you're, you know, having fire coming out of your face you know, out of your, out of your mouth and out of your nose and out of your eyes and you're bleeding from every orifice and your head's going to explode, you know, stuff like that. But man, that was graphic. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so definitely give it a shot if you guys are, are interested. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, I will go ahead and I'll end this like I always do. Uh, later taters.